Hello, Saddleback family, and welcome to 40 Days in the Word. This one's going to be one of our greatest series we've ever done together. Now, I'm coming to you from our Rancho Capistrano campus. If you haven't been down here lately, it is unbelievable. We've had over 100 volunteers working here practically every weekend for nearly a year, beautifying this place for our regional church, for our retreat center, which we're going to open very soon, and for our... Uh, the Church Planning Academy. So come on down to Rancho Capistrano and see the beauty of this place. Just come over during lunchtime and take a break. Now during 40 days in the Word, I have three goals for you and our entire church family. First, I want you to learn to love the Word more than anything else in your life, that you love it like you've never loved it before. And then learn the Word in a way that you've never learned it before. And I want you to live the Word like you've never lived it before. You see, the Bible says that God's Word was given to transform our lives, not simply to inform our lives. It wasn't given to increase our knowledge, but to change our lives. And that's what 40 Days in the Word is all about, to change your life, my life, and to change the life of Saddleback. You know, a, a young guy asked me one time, he said, Pastor Rick, what's the best translation of the Bible? And I said, the best translation is when you translate it into your life. He said, well, I just got a living Bible. I said, man, you ought to be a living Bible. We're either Bibles or we're libels. We're either testimonies for God or we're testimonies for the evil one. Now, God says he wants his word to dwell in our hearts. And during this time, as I said, you're going to learn to love it, to learn it, and to live it. It's a journey that you're going to be glad you came with me on. It's going to be exciting.